Hey guys, we've got the dogs here, and as you might notice, uh, things are a little bit different. <laughs> uh, I had Outlaw Audio send out their brand new flagship, um, which is awesome. I'm glad to see some other brands participating. I'm thrilled about this. You have no idea. Uh, I think it's a great step uh, in the right direction for the channel. Um, and these are the Outlaw Audio Ultra X13s. Uh, they are THX certified, uh, which is a new thing in the realm of subs I normally talk about. So it's kind of an interesting thing. I'll be uh, checking that out. Uh, but the whole point of today's video is to talk about uh, this little Denon hack, this little Odyssey hack that I do uh, that allows me to get more dynamics out of, the, out of subs and not having to go out and get new subs. And uh, of course, I don't really have that problem at the moment. Um, and for you guys uh, are curious, uh, I've got the PB16 Ultras in another very, very small room. And I think it's uh, 10 by 10 or 11 by 11, something like that. It's ridiculous small and I'm going to try running those in a very small room and see what the effects are and discuss some of the challenges and things like that uh, and, and so I'm gonna be going over that so stay tuned for that and of course I'm gonna be doing a review on on these as well but again uh, today's video is about uh, this little hack I do and I've talked about it before but I want to do a specific video on it because I think it's pretty useful so I'm gonna go ahead and use my camera to zoom in here and all right hey that worked a lot better all right so what i do is uh, i go through uh, the odyssey setup all right and so normally if you're making adjustments you're going to go into manual and tinker around with everything right uh, but this uses the odyssey setup and if you guys already did odyssey and you're like i don't want to go through that whole thing again you don't have to worry about it this is something that you can do quickly and not have to go through the entire setup and change everything and do all that stuff uh, believe me, I know, I go through that quite often. I don't like it. It's a frustrating thing. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour every time uh, I get new subs set up or whatever. And anytime I got to run room correction, it's a big ordeal. So you don't have to go through the entire thing. This is just a, a quick little trick. Uh, but you do need to get your microphone out and plug that in though. Um, all right, so what you do is you basically go through, I go, yes, yes, plug it in. Oh, turn your subwoofer on, great idea. Um, all right, so all this stuff. Now, begin test. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this is gonna check your subwoofer volume on your first subwoofer and second subwoofer. Now, granted, this is ideal for people that have dual subs and all that good stuff and guys that can't. I beat this dead horse like crazy, but you gotta have duels. It makes all the difference in the world. All right, so now it says sub subwoofer level matching. So now normally it says go to 75 dB. Now if you look at what I've got this set for, it's not 75 dB. Uh, I usually set it for around 82 to 84 dB roughly. Now you're never gonna get any, an exact number doing this, but you can get close. And usually if you get them both matching, that's the whole idea. Now what does this do? Uh, what this does for me is it gives me a lot more dynamics out of the subs. It gives you a lot more impact, it gives you a lot more power but everything else being equal, it's still balanced if you balance it by ear. I've done another video on that. Uh, hopefully that helped you guys out too, but you can check that video out. But no matter what you set uh, this at, you have to go back through and adjust it by ear to get it just right. And so but what this does is it allows me to get everything matched on the subs. Now, if I was trying to do this, just kind of by ear, I'd, it'd be a mess. You really do want to measure it. And this is just kind of using a different method to measure it. You can also use a mini DSP UMIC one, um, you know, with Room EQ Wizard, use their uh, system, all that stuff. There's all kinds of different ways, uh, just a standard, uh, you know, DB meter, all that stuff. Uh, it's all, there are different ways of doing it. I just do it this way because I know that Odyssey asks for a certain thing every time. So I know that in relation to everything else, it's going to be about the same every time. So by going in and setting it up to you know, 84, 83 dB, uh, then I know at that point when I go back in to change everything else around, uh, it will be different. Now uh, I'll, I'll go into that in just a second. So you can see the right sub is doing about the same amount of dB. It might be a little bit off, but they're gonna be close. And what I also notice is that over here, 
my subs are more in a corner, uh, whereas this sub is kind of like in the middle of the room because we've got an odd shaped room. And so this sub I always have to run a bit lower than that sub. My right sub in this room always has to work harder. So anyway guys, so I get it all set up uh, and I'm gonna go back to this in a minute. Um, let's see, let's go back, cancel, back. All right. So, all right, ah, cool, that went faster. All right, so now, once I've got all that set up, what am I doing? So I go back to manual, and I'm gonna show you, oh wait, that's not what I want, I'm sorry. That's not what I want, I want audio, because I'm looking for my subwoofer trim. All right, so as you can see, I run my AVR subwoofer trim really low. Uh, and again, this is gonna be an issue if you've got subs that don't have a very good uh, auto on feature. Uh, there's a lot of subs out there that take a lot to, to get that audio auto on feature to work. Uh, in cases where that's the case and you wanna run subs like this, you can actually usually set it to just on all the time. Uh, it kind of stinks. I mean, in, in a situation like that, uh, where your auto on feature is kind of weak, you kind of have to choose whether you want to have a, a reliable auto on or whether you want to have good dynamics. You usually can't do both because as the lower you run the subwoofer trim, uh, the less signals going to the sub. So if the auto on feature isn't great to begin with, running it like this, you're going to run into a problem. Um, so, and another thing too is if you run, if you run it to where in order for it to sound right, again, you always do this by ear. So if you find that, you know, if you're down, because this goes down to negative 12, and that's bottomed out. So if you're ne negative 12 and it's still too much bass, you got to go back to it and adjust the, the dB lower using this little trick of mine. And so let's say you set it at 83 dB, but you, for your ears, you need to run it lower than negative 12. So what that means is your subwoofer trim is bottomed out. Now, if you're at 12 and it sounds perfect to you, that's fine. But if you need to go lower than 12, then you need to go back and adjust it. Um, now, the other thing is the flip side of all of this, because I'm doing this for more dynamics, I'm doing this for more impact, more awesomeness, right? But if you're doing it in an apartment, you wanna go the other direction. You wanna run the gain a little bit lower so that instead of reading 82 to 83 dB uh, on the Odyssey setup, instead it's more like 74 or 73 dB and running this uh, a little bit higher, all right? So you don't wanna go much higher than zero. Uh, you can go, you know, let's say up to, you know, plus three and probably be okay. But when you start getting into the positive side of this, you can get into some clipping and things like that, and that's not great either. Uh, so it's really just kind of a balance and just kind of you gotta figure out what you wanna do. But for me, at the range I had it set for, the 11.5 works really well. And at that point, I'm getting the most dynamics out of these subs or any subs I'm listening to because again, the higher you're running the gain, the more dynamics you're getting out of the subs. Uh, but of course, there's always a caveat, and there's a caveat to all of this stuff. And one of the other things is, if you like to listen really loud, right, and you're going through and you're doing this, and you've got everything set up and everything's perfect, but as you're going through and listening to movies and music and stuff like that, your subwoofers are misbehaving. They're making noises they shouldn't make. All right, I, all of the subs I talk about, you know, I've got the list of best subwoofers uh, on the website, and I'll put the link down below. But you know, all of these subs are amazing. They're a step above almost everything else that's on the market. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, uh, you go from a 15 inch sub that you can buy uh, in most stores versus a 15 inch sub that I discuss, there's gonna be a dramatic difference, okay? But even still, every sub has its limits and you can't get away from that. So if you do this test and you set, these, set the gain higher on the subs and it gets more dynamic, but the volumes you're listening to are too high, and you're getting your subs to misbehave, well, that means you gotta go back in and take some of the dynamics out. So you go back in, you adjust the back of the sub, turn it down to where it's more like 80 dB or 78 dB, whatever it is. Or you can just stick with 75. I did a video like this before, it actually accidentally got deleted. And I had some of my viewers saying, oh no, I won't do this. So no, no I'm gonna stick with exactly what Odyssey says. 
and that's fine. There's a lot of people that don't like to color outside the lines, and I get that. This is definitely coloring outside the lines. Uh, it's a little trick, it's a little hack, but for a lot of people, uh, this can mean the difference of feeling like you need to go out and get a brand new sub, or sticking with what you've got because all of a sudden you're getting all this extra dynamics out of your subs. Because it really does sound like you've, when you do this, versus setting it up at 75 dB, versus setting it up at like 82, like I run, uh, it really sounds like you've stepped up your sub. Like you went out and bought something new with a higher power output. Uh, so it's kind of a neat thing. But again, if you run into, ha into problems to where it's you're starting to get your subs to misbehave, you're gonna have to dial it back down. It really makes a difference on the quality of sub you're running. But again, there's some scenes and there's some move and you know, some music where this will just push any sub depending on what your listening levels are. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, it's been a little trick I've been wanting to discuss for a while. I've actually discussed it before on previous things, but I want to do a video specifically on it because I think it's one of those handy little tricks. Uh, another thing for me is that with subwoofer break-in, uh, and this happened to me just the other night, uh, which again prompted me to make this video uh, as you get a brand new subwoofer out uh, like these are and uh, oops meant to go the other way um, you know like the uh, outlaws here uh, when I first plugged them in and I dialed them up well after a few days of running them they got louder and that's a normal thing and so I had to go back in and do this really quick to get the levels back to where they're supposed to be so Again, it's just a quick little uh, Odyssey hack that works on the Denon. Uh, if you don't have this feature, you can also use an SPL meter or something like that. Uh, it's just, this is a good reference for me. For me, every time it's the same. So, uh, but anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, and again, I'm gonna be doing more stuff on uh, the PP16 Ultras. I'm gonna be doing more stuff on the uh, Outlaw Audio Ultra X13s got some stuff going on so anyway guys i appreciate uh, everything i appreciate your support i appreciate your subscriptions uh it really makes a difference and as you can see the channel is growing and and starting to do new things so uh i that's all because of you guys so thanks so much anyway guys thanks for watching and please subscribe